This is try number two because I we already went over this and I forgot to hit record. This is another vlog. I uh, have Seth with me again. I'm Jason and the last vlog where we kayaked down the Platte River, which we'll have linked in the description, turned out pretty well. So we're here on another vacation. We are in Seattle, just arrived and it's foggy. Uh, we're here for a concert on Halloween night. And so today is Sunday the 29th. Yep. And then we're leaving on Wednesday the uh, first, and so concerts Tuesday night, and so we're just going to vlog it, and uh, hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. It's like our kayaks just got fat butt. Just barely see the Salt Lake. Oh, right there. I can't get it because the lens is on the wrong side. Here's the uh, Salt Lake. If you don't see an available outlet, just ask your flight attendant to help walk into one nearest your seat. It's fog as far as the eye can see. Our, our city's down there somewhere. <laughs> I think that's me. Oh, sorry, I went out of focus. Mount Rainier up in the uh, top left there. So, uh, I've had this luggage for since, God, what did I say, 2001. Went to Europe a couple times, etc. And uh, apparently they really wanted my tissues and couldn't unzip it and just had to rip it open. So I guess that's all done. So what this is, is we're going to uh, do public transport the whole time. And you can buy something called an Orca card. And uh, you buy the card for like five bucks and then you get unlimited rides for eight dollars a day. Waldo and Carmen are lost. So some of the cool stuff is um, one, everywhere we go is Seattle Seahawks, as seen by the, the fans. Uh, it's game day, they won. Uh, two, everything's dog friendly. Not everything, but most stuff, which is pretty cool. I wish we had more of that in Lincoln, where I'm from. And so we're at uh, Ghost Fish. All the beers are um, gluten free, right, Seth? Yeah. Seth, Seth does not eat gluten. And uh, yeah, so. This is perfect for him because he normally has a limited selection, so. <laughs> Bill and Ted just arrived from uh, back in time. It was awesome. So this is one of our favorite places that we've seen. It's right along our path walking up to where we're staying. And uh, so we saw it in the, in the fog, now we're seeing it in the morning. And yeah, it's really great because you just have to bear with the zooming and the focusing here if you want to see it. Uh, you know, you got your giant ships there, not giant, big. You've got all the the personal craft back there. In the distance, you've got mountains and and the sound. I assume that's the Puget Sound. Sorry, I didn't look at the map before I started this video. <laughs> and then, yeah, the houses and everything. And, oh, the fall leaves. We had just the right time to come. So, uh, Seattle has these things. Uh, I guess you can rent a bike for a buck. And they're, they're locked. You have to have the app and it unlocks it. And uh, we've been sitting here waiting for this bus forever. And we saw two bikes and two of us, and we thought, you know, pro you know, prodigy, pro what is prophecy. prophecy. And uh, anyway, oh, there goes the. What the hell? Our bus is leaving. <laughs> the 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 Seattle transit system right there. We've been waiting for. What the? I suppose if you're not at the like. Stop, they don't stop? I don't know. Uh, I mean, we're at this. Right. <laughs> uh, so the big question now is, because our bus just ditched us, 
we're really considering riding the bikes downtown because we're trying to get some food and you know this is our night out um, the question is can we ride our the bikes on the sidewalk because th there's a bus 21 going the opposite way I really don't want to ride this on this busy street. No, it says every person operating a bicycle upon any sidewalk or public path shall operate the same in a careful and prudent manner and a rate of speed no greater than is reasonable. I think. All right, so we're, we're going to do it. Uh, so yeah, it's showing two bikes and uh, two bikes. And so cool. Seth is going to go through the process of renting a bike here. Whoop, you have to allow pictures there. So you scan the QR code. Got it. Start trip. Let's see if there's an action in the... We have to put in a credit card, probably. I don't know what's going on. Ah! So that, yeah, that just popped. I guess you pay when you're done. And so it has a generator here to power probably this and the GPS and the light and a little generator maybe up front um, to power yes. those lights. Yeah, yeah you, you can, can see, see it right a little here. cable here. Yeah. Uh, the cable yep. rides on that. So, well, I guess I want to get mine then. Uh, we just about died. I don't have a brake light and Seth just about careened into me. But uh, here, let's flip around and we'll, we'll get going here. So, there's a headlight with a switch that I can't work, but Seth turned it on. It was off. And we have the most important thing. And a few gears. All right, buddy. <laughs> Lead the way. Ow, I haven't ran a bike in so long. <laughs> oh, we're, t we're testing out the Pixel 2's optical image stabilization with digital stabilization. And I tell you what, Seth, even though I am going all over the place, you have never looked so smooth riding a bike. Uh, unfortunately, the selfie camera does not have optical image stabilization, so you can see all the bumps. But uh, this is pretty crazy, because we kind of we dressed up, so you can't see it right now, but I have like a vest and a, a collar shirt and all that stuff, and we are, you know, biking it. It's actually going pretty well, though. <laughs> God, you got crazy eyes. Oh, you know what? It has a, we just noticed this, it has a uh, solar panel in it, which is pretty neat. We just had to stop and uh, take a picture of this. We're at Safeco Field. <laughs> it's on camera, you bought it. <laughs> Seth rides his bike quite a lot, and he just biffed that bike. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is where the Mariners play. <laughs> We're going to go get Qdoba uh, because we know we both like it and uh, still riding the bikes because they rock and driving along we came across this, which is pretty freaking awesome. And uh, apparently it's a yeah, whole outdoor area.